What's up folks, it's the best Dan Wallace here and today we're going to be making a set of PVC Paralette bars. Now these are great workout tools. You can buy them in a store obviously, but I just like to make everything myself. And honestly, making it yourself, you can make it a lot more modular and also save money in the process. So we're going to be making our Paralettes out of standard Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Uh, I went with one and a quarter inch diameter. If you have smaller hands, you can go with one inch diameter, but I wouldn't go any smaller than that just for structural reasons. You're going to need 12 sections of six inch length PVC pipe. You're going to need two sections of one foot length PVC pipe. You're going to need four T connectors, four 90 degree elbows, and you're going to need eight caps. And of course, these are all one and a quarter inch size. Now this is 8 feet of PVC pipe total, which means that you can make it out of one single length of PVC pipe. You can usually get them in 8, 10, or 12 foot lengths, depending on your hardware store. Uh, and then your only extra costs are just for the fittings right here. So in total, this comes out to under $20, or at least it did at my local store. Your prices may vary in your area, but still pretty damn cheap. You also might want your Batman glass, you know, just for moral support. So for assembly... We're going to start with our T connectors. You're going to take your six inch pipe. And what you want to do when you're assembling is tap it into place like that to make sure it's nice and secure. You don't necessarily want to do that with all your parts to start off, and I'll explain why in a second. But for the T connectors here, you can definitely start with that. After that, you're going to put your caps in on the ends like so next rather than assembling your uprights you're going to want to take your one foot sections these are going to be your handles and you're going to put your elbows in but these are going to be the first parts that you don't tap into place, and I will explain why. What you want to do is when you're setting these in, you're going to take your six inches, and you're going to put them in your T-connectors like that. And then you're going to take your elbows, and you're going to set them on top. And the reason you didn't tap them in before is because you want to make sure that you have everything aligned relatively straight first. And it's difficult to tell until you have it all put together. So once you've got it all in place, and it's a lot simpler to go ahead and just grab a piece of PVC pipe and tap it in like that. Now, you can glue your PVC pipe together, which will make it a little more structurally sound, but honestly, in my experience, it's not necessary, and by not gluing, you can later on rearrange your configuration a bit if you want to give yourself, you know, longer uprights or shorter handles for some reason, change angles on things, stuff like that. So I like to leave mine unglued and just tap them into place. I find that's more than strong enough. In fact, when you take this apart, if you want to take this apart, you might have a hard time doing it. So make sure you keep a, a spare piece of PVC or hammer handy so you can tap pieces out when you're done. So that's one handle. We're just going to repeat the process for our second one. Now, as for exercises, obviously the most straightforward use of a parallel would be just regular old push-ups. They allow you to get a greater depth than you, stand, than you would with your standard push-ups on the floor. However, there's a whole bunch of other awesome exercises you can do with these. And actually, I'm going to put together an upper body workout routine for these that I'm going to show you probably, uh, I would guess Thursday this week they'll be going up. If you're watching this after that, I'll link it at the end of the video. Otherwise, you should see it come out on Thursday. Thanks for watching, and as always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye.